Estadio Azteca in Mexico City, Mexico is the site of the NFL Week 11 matchup between the New England Patriots and the Oakland Raiders. This is the second trip south of the border for the Oakland Raiders, who beat the Texans 27-20 in Mexico City last year. The Raiders have more familiarity with the setting, which could be a big advantage. Even though the Patriots just played in Mile High Denver, and the Raiders play there annually, Mexico City is at 7,382 feet above sea level, so it is much higher than even Denver. The Patriots are favored by a touchdown early in the week with a high total at 55 points. Remember when the New England Patriots were 2-2 two and, two and people were freaking out? That might be enough to make even Bill Belichick crack a smile. New England is now 7-2 with five straight wins and four covers in those five games. The Patriots are coming off of a beatdown of the Broncos in which they scored a season-high 41 points against the once-vaunted Denver defense. As per the status quo, the Patriots' offense is rolling. New England ranks fifth in yards per play, and only Kansas City has turned the ball over on fewer possessions than the Patriots. Tom Brady is doing his usual Tom Brady thing with a 67.3% completion rate and a 19-2 touchdown interception ratio. The Patriots have scored on 50.5% of their offensive possessions, and the 40-year-old Brady is showing no signs of slowing down. His adjusted net yards per pass attempt is over 8 for the second straight year and the fifth time in his career. He leads the NFL in completions, attempts, and yards. The amazing thing is that he puts up these numbers no matter who he is throwing to. Brandon Cooks and Rob Gronkowski are his favorite receivers with 65 and 63 targets respectively. But James White leads the team in receptions. The Patriots only have 3.9 yards per carry, but over 12 yards per catch and 26 offensive touchdowns. The Patriots are still last in the NFL in yards allowed per play with six and a half. The rush defense is the worst in the league with 5.0 yards per carry allowed. Only Oakland and the New York Giants have allowed more adjusted net yards per pass attempt. This defense needs some work, and that will be a story to watch this week, but they are improving. Over the last three weeks, the Patriots have allowed less than 350 yards, which is something they hadn't done in their first six games, so maybe the defense is finally coming around. On the other hand, the Patriots can't stop the run with 120, 157, and 118 yards allowed over the last three games. This game will be about whether New England can hold down this Oakland offense off of a bye week. The Oakland Raiders are playing with extra rest for this game and really need a win. Oakland is 4-5 and five straight up and 3-5-1 and one against the number off of a push against Miami on Sunday night football two weeks ago. We knew the Raiders' defense was going to be a problem, but we didn't expect to see so many struggles from the Oakland offense. The Raiders are still tied for 7th in yards per play, but Oakland has had a lot of trouble protecting Derek Carr and Amari Cooper has really fallen off the pace. Carr has only taken 10 sacks, but he has been hurried quite a bit and only has a 13-7 touchdown interception ratio with a 65.2% completion rate. He also missed a game with a back injury. A weak running game hasn't done much to stave off the opposition pass rush. Marshawn Lynch only has 3.8 yards per carry, and Oakland's 4.1 yards per carry average is propped up by 10 gadget plays from Corderell Patterson for 124 yards. Amari Cooper has only hauled in 38 of his 77 targets, which is not going to cut it as the team's top receiver. Michael Crabtree played eight games, but only has 55 targets, and he has been limited by injury. Tight end Jared Cook also has 55 targets. The Raiders are still moving the ball effectively, but not efficiently, and there is a big difference. The Raiders are 15th in adjusted net yards per pass attempt this season. The Oakland defense remains really awful. The Raiders have allowed the highest adjusted net yards per pass attempt in the NFL and the highest completion percentage against at 71.2. Tom Brady has to be excited for this matchup against an Oakland team that does not have an interception all season and ranks among the league's worst at pressuring the quarterback. The Raiders aren't bad against the run with 4.1 yards per carry allowed, but New England isn't going to run the ball anyway. The Raiders have allowed 5.8 yards per play this season and have just six takeaways all on fumbles. The Raiders' offense could use some short fields and the Raiders' defense could use some time off the field, but neither is likely to happen against the New England Patriots. This looks like an offensive shootout for both teams. 
The Raiders are coming off the bye, which should be a big help in terms of planning for the Patriots and getting some of the injured guys on the mend. The Raiders have moved the ball in spurts, but they haven't been able to sustain a high level of offensive success. Against the worst defense in the NFL from a yards per play standpoint, Oakland should be able to move the ball here at will. The familiarity for the Raiders with the setting in Mexico City may help out as well. So our pick and prediction will be for the Oakland Raiders plus the seven points.